welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a writing curriculum that I absolutely love. This video is part of a collaboration hosted by another Nikki over at Blessed Homeschool Mess. And then I will be linking her channel and the playlist with all the moms talking about writing curriculums down below. They might not be sharing writing curriculums they love. They might be talking about writing curriculums that they don't love so much, but everybody's gonna be sharing some sort of writing curriculum with you. further I hope you will head on down and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can see when more videos are coming out don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it so I know that you guys are enjoying this content and would like to see more of it today I'm gonna to be talking about a writing curriculum that I love we've been using this writing curriculum now for two I think going on three years um, and it is brave writer so I have done a video recently I'll link it right here um, that was showing kind of like a flip through of the components of brave writer and like what it all is so I'm gonna give you a quick recap here but if you want to see more in detail and inside some of these things um, go ahead and click on that video there in the interest of keeping this video shorter, I'm gonna share with you just kind of like a general overview and then talk to you about why I love this uh, curriculum. So if you don't know, Brave Writer is like a three component curriculum. There's your original thought component and um, that is Growing Brave Writers. Over the summer they did revamp their curriculum and like updated some things and they did change out this growing brave writers is a replacement for what was the writing jungle but it's your original thought bubble and um this book kind of takes julie bogart's um brave learner and makes it um kind of like step by step ish like this program if you're looking for a program that is step by step this is what you do here's your script of what you say this is how, what comes next this is not the program for you because this program is very open-ended but the growing brave writers I feel like has done a really good job of showing you like giving you activities that you can work on and checklists to make sure you're you know approaching things the right way it's very detailed very laid out um, and, and usable and a very large range of things from littlest kids all the way up to biggest kids there's tips for writing transcripts tips on using it in co-ops there's just so many ways so much information in this book it is a great read I hope you would check it out at the end of this video I think I might do a little bit of a flip through of it not like a flip through flip through but show you the components of it because I know I had some questions of it before so that is like the central component and Julia's approach is basically Worry about the mechanics later. Worry about the grammar and the spelling and the structure and all of that later. What you want to do is foster a confidence, foster an enjoyment of getting your child's thoughts down on paper. So it's all about taking their original thoughts and getting it on paper in a less stress kind of way. Don't worry about all the extra details, which is going to make it more complicated. We just want to simply get those words from their brain onto that paper. So that's the approach that Brave Writer takes. So like I said, that is the, um, the middle component. If you go to their website, you'll see like these three puzzle pieces. So the middle component, the middle puzzle piece is that original thought. Now, granted, I started with the, the piece over here, which is mechanics and literature. Um, so you don't have to read this, this book. Um, and it's not a very long read. I will show you the inside in a minute. Um, but you don't even have to read that to use the components. And you don't even have to use all the components of this program. There's a mechanics and literature component over here and a writing projects component over here. We started by just using the mechanics and literature pieces and then slowly added in the other pieces over time as I learned the program. But if I were to go back and start now, I probably would have read, wanted to read this one first. So that would be my advice to you. Go ahead and pick this up. Go ahead and read that first. Um, but do, you don't have to. If you just, you know, for me, it wasn't necessarily in my budget at the time. So the mechanics and literature pieces, you can buy them singlets and they're only $15. And that was what was in my budget. And that's what we started with. Um, and so if that's what you can do, do that because it you you know that's what I love about this program is you can customize it to what your needs are or what your homeschool needs that's the three components you've got the original thought the writings uh, mechanics and literature where you actually read books there's copy work um, 
it talks about like components, literary components, grammar components, you know, good, what is good writing, openers, like all that kind of stuff is all contained over here. And then on this side over here, you have your writing projects. Um, there are several levels, so jot it down as the first level. Um, my picture, my covers, this, my copies are older. They've updated them to kind of more go in line with this kind of stuff, but uh, jot it down as the lower level. So when you get it, it won't have this cover, but it's basically the same thing on the inside. Um, so jot it down as the first level then you have partnership writing and then the third level is building confidence and then there's help for high school um, and so basically what it is is then jot it down the parent is jotting down the child's original thoughts the child is still doing writing if you're over here doing mechanics and literature they're doing copy work and things like that they're still working on getting you know the actual mechanics of moving a pencil across paper but the parent is in charge of taking what's in their their stories and their ideas and their thoughts in their brain and getting it down on paper um, they do some of the writing but you're helping the parent is helping them get those thoughts from their brain onto paper then you move into partnership writing and it becomes a partnership the, the student starts taking on more responsibility and it's kind of almost half and half the parent is still helping is still doing some of the you know not some of the work for them but is still facilitating their getting their thoughts down on paper then you move into par um, building confidence more ownership is going on to the child less is coming from the parent and then by the time you get to help for high school they're supposed to be able to do that level on their own and not need the parent at all so you're that's why I love this approach because my kiddos don't love writing they kind of get that like writer's block you know like that paralyzation when I say they need to write something down and so it has been so helpful for my kiddos for me to just be like okay you tell me and I will write it down and then we've slowly moved to well I'll write half and you write half and then we you know as they might they get older we're shifting into that they're doing it more on their own um, and that's why I love this approach it's just what my kids need and it just works so well and my child now my oldest child is writing her own comics and her own plays and things like that all on her own without me even asking her to um, because we've fostered that enjoyment of getting her thoughts down onto paper and then over time you start you start going into the I think it's around the um, building confidence level where you start getting into some of the editing to start to getting them to write you know have the mechanics properly done as well so I really enjoy this program I it is there is a learning curve to it there is you are going to have to kind of change your mindset and your approach especially if you are a public school child um, you're going to have to learn this whole new approach um, if you need something open and go it's not the one for you it's it, there is a little bit of planning involved in this program but the approach is so gentle um, and it really does help build that their, your child's confidence in getting their thoughts down on paper and it's, once they have the confidence then you can start working on some of the other elements that honestly aren't that important because they're not submitting their book to be published at five years old you know what I mean like they don't need to know all that stuff super early on it can come with time so if you want to see inside the jot it down on the partnership writing you can check out that other video that i talked about before it, i had linked it before and it's gonna i'll put it down in the comments i um, mean you can kind of see inside those and i talk a lot in that video of like how we actually use this program um but now i'm going to go ahead and give you a down view and kind of an inside look into the growing brave writers because that was not included in that video so this is growing brave writers by julie bogart and it's the like central component like i said of the um Thing. there's the original thought is the central component that's what this is then there's mechanics and literature and the writing projects um, this I feel like is a really good place to start if you are just interested in the brave writer approach um, this explains it very very well in the chapters it tells you like first it tells you how to use this book and then it talks about like how to you know the natural stages of writing development and then it talks about how to create the spray writer lifestyle that she talks about and how to implement her approach to writing then you get into more of the um, activities as you you know things that you can actually do and then towards the end of the book it talks about 
how you can use this in different settings. So in a school setting, and a homeschool setting, and a co-op setting, different kinds of settings, and how it works in conjunction to like all the other components of it, and, and what areas of other kinds of things it brings in, like science and things like that. So um, the beginning of the book is mostly, and I'm not going to share too much of it, but the beginning of the book is mostly talking about like how to use the program, but then you do get to activities, and it will tell you like what ages it's appropriate for, and who's going to be doing it, and then it will tell you the procedure and the purpose and the tools. Before each of the activities, it gives you a very lengthy, detailed description of it, but she has said, or she said in a video that like for those of you who I know are not going to read that, this is everything kind of condensed down into like one little blurb that is basically the general gist of it so if you you read this if you're that person that wants like to just get it done with you know what do I do just tell me what to do that's what this part is if you want to know the reasoning behind all of it you can go back and read what was comes before each activity and then the activity it'll tell you what to do for each activity so I think there are roughly about eight activities in here that kind of each one kind of builds on each of the others so you would want to start with the first activity and work your way forward no matter what age your child is you're gonna um, if you're starting this program, I highly suggest starting at the beginning. It's very easy to adapt these activities for any age level. Um, so, well, some of the so as you get into the later ones, it becomes less adaptable to younger ages, obviously. <laughs> but um, the beginning ones are easy to adapt to any age level, and then progressively, the you know the things that they're doing gets more complicated. So. Uh, that is the inside of Growing Brave Writers. It is a great, quick, easy read um, with lots of activities. Most, you know, a lot of the book is explaining the activities, so there's not a ton of reading. But if you just want to get a general idea of what Julie Bogart's approach is, this is a great book, and it tells you exactly what her approach is and how to use it in your homeschool. So I hope you found any of this helpful. I hope, um, I know a lot of people are intimidated by Brave Writer in the beginning. It kind of looks like a lot. Um, but I promise, like, once you start using it, it gets a lot easier. If you read the Growing Brave Writers or the Brave Learner that Julie Bogart has written, it really does help give you kind of like a more solid foundation on how to approach these things. Um, and then there's tons of resources online that Julie has put out that can give you more confidence as well. If you buy the bundle, you get to be part of the group, that the Brave Writer like, group thing that they have um, that has just so much helpful information in it. So, um, yes, it's a little more parent heavy. So if that's what you're looking for, this might not be a good free fit for you. But if you have a kid who is struggling with writing, I feel like this is an excellent program for struggling writers because it's stops worrying about all the hard stuff and just worries about the fun stuff in the beginning, which is, has been so helpful for my kiddos. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you found this helpful or useful. I hope it kind of helped clear up a little confusion you might have about the Brave Writer program. It does seem intimidating and confusing at first, but I promise if you read some of the, like the Growing Brave Writers or um, the Brave Learner first, you can kind of get more comfortable with her approach and it does become easier to understand and figure out out. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please head on down to the comments below and make them there. Don't forget that this video is part of a collaboration. So I'll be sharing that playlist down below and there will be a lot of moms talking about their writing curriculums that they either love, hate, or are indifferent to. Um, and that is all I have for you guys today. So I hope you will come back and chat with me again soon and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.